The baby isn't mine. My girlfriend said it was. Should I leave her now? I mean, yes, because she lied to you. Rose, 28 female, and I, 29 male, were together for four years, from our last year at school until just after university. I loved her very much and genuinely thought I would marry her. However, we were very much not in a place to have a child. You know? Oh, but then you did. Then you did. Then you did. Yeah. We had previously discussed the matter and agreed that that we were both okay with termination if it came to it. Six years ago, she became pregnant. She broke down when she told me four months in and admitted that she had cheated on me and that the baby wasn't mine. Dang, that's rough, dude. Yikes. I assume she, if she mustered up everything to go to him to tell him, she had to at least be sure of herself. You yeah. know what I mean? You're not like going with well, a guess. She's probably, she probably did it. Well, would she, would she have done a paternity test already? Probably not. I immediately ended the relationship and she moved home to have the baby. Cool. It cr <laughs> Great. Cool. Happy ending, right? Yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. It crushed me as this was totally out of the blue and utterly unlike her. And she refused to provide many details and the whole situation just seemed vague and off. Recently, Rose's father passed away and my mother attended the funeral. While there, she commiserated Rose, who was there with her husband and her daughter too, who, according to my mother, is visibly biracial and has a striking resemblance to me. Is most likely OP's kid. It's looking like it. But she said it wasn't. So she... Did she lie to get full custody of the kid? And she's like, OP, you're, you'd be a terrible father. She gave us the plot twist. Whoa. The wild this card. This has never yeah. happened. Never in, in OKOP, OKOP history. history has this ever happened. Whoa. Smart. We are in Wicked uncharted smart, territory. This is some fucking 4D reverse Uno reverse chess upside down checkers move. And I'm, see, I'm here to see who gets checkmate. Oh, yeah. okay. How do I even begin to bring this up with her? I feel like I have to, but I have no idea where to even start. You start with a paternity test. You steal a little bit of your kid's spit, make him pee in a cup or something, and then you send that over to the scientist. And you're like, hey, I got some kid spit. Can you analyze this? <laughs> That's the way, baby. That's the way. I also feel like I've moved on enough to be ready for closure and to actually address this whole matter with Rose. Breakup that happened in such a rush and she moved away before I felt I was able to address the topic in any kind of rational, logical way. And remember, this is six years after the breakup, after the pregnancy happened. This is six years after the pregnancy happened. Wow, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a while, dude. That's a while. Yeah, do you even want to revisit it at that point? I, I'd, I'd say no, dude. I, yeah. You know, like, just close that chapter. Don't look any further. Keep you on know, moving. Just keep on keeping on. Don't look in that box. Don't look in that box, dude. There's <laughs> the, there, your kid might be in there. Yeah. A few moments later. Um, Could you put a camera in your pee hole? and then get video inside. The options are that she cheated on me and became pregnant with someone else's child. She cheated on me and has lied to me about her pregnancy, or she just made up the whole scenario for some effing reason. C. Help. The answer is C. C, yeah. We don't know the reason. I mean, that we is don't true. Know the reason, but the answer is C. The answer is C. The answer is C for sure. Edit. Rose just got in touch with me. She asked my mother for my phone number and texted me to ask whether I would be free for a call with her this week. I passed on my condolences for her father, and I told her to call me any time this week outside of work hours. And then there's some relevant comment. Uh, so we're going to get into an update, but we got some relevant comments we want to look through first. From Fun Yellow 6567 You do nothing. All caps. You do not want to be a dad. Rose didn't want the child to be yours. Leave it be. OP responds. It's been six years and I've grown up a lot. I respect that this child has another father figure in their life at this point. But for example, I have adopted cousins who have gone looking for their biological parents with full respect to their adoptive parents and found it very rewarding. I guess I want to make sure Rose knows if her child ever wants to speak to me, I am open to it. Ideally, my family would like to know their first grandchild. In the future, the child would like to know her culture. If I ever have children, I would want them to know about their half-sister. Oh, does OP have a kid? No, no, no. If I ever have children, I would want them to know about my half-sister, right. which is maybe possibly this kid. Right. At a minimum, Rose never gave me the chance to change my mind the way she changed hers. And right, she because he said he never wanted, he didn't want to have a kid. Yes. And she might have chosen to lie to me about cheating on me and genuinely shook up how I deal with relationships for a long time. 
That is a great point. I mean, if that's kind of like a crazy scenario to go through, you know, your 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 girl is like, hey, I cheated with someone. I had a kid. And like, how are you sure? Like that? That's what I would ask. Yeah, we never we never got the, the test. Yeah. And maybe OP was so happy that he didn't have to deal with a kid that he didn't look any further at that. Yeah. Point. And was just so shook, basically. Yeah. Yeah. A commenter asks about looking from the ex perspective and allowing her to have choices. OP. I do understand that's her perspective. She was put in a position where perhaps she could only see options that hurt me and her and the child or options that only hurt me. Maybe that is the case. Maybe she chose the best of a bad set of options, but she still hurt me and lied to me and hid my own child from me. And I think being hurt and confused and looking for answers is still a valid response. If she had been honest with me, she could have opened up in the same place with a new partner with a lovely little daughter living where she pleased and with a bit of support financial or otherwise from a version of me that wasn't in therapy for two years over the things that she lied to me about. Now we're about to get into the update, but I just had a theory as to maybe why she didn't tell OP. I think it's because I think it's just, you know you don't think it's because he uh, said he didn't want kids. She got pregnant, and she's like, "Oh, he doesn't want kids, so I'm just gonna run away and not have to deal with the conversation." Also, I mean, the the question is because uh, OP said the kid was biracial, so who I don't know what all the races of all the three players uh, are. Is it like a, a racism thing? Possibly that, or like her just like trying to hide OP from the baby daddy which is kind of what you said originally like but that she just daddy, wanted to cut and run we're, we're kind of thinking the baby like op is the baby daddy yes 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 but the 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 guy that she, maybe she she convinced the other guy that he was the baby daddy mm -hmm. and didn't want op getting in the way oh right remember that story that we read where it was like she the the, she, the girl was hooking up with a bunch of people and she just kind of wanted to choose the best one to raise choose the, the one yeah of the, the three kid. the three dad yeah. story yep. yeah like so maybe maybe she's like let me do something that will get op like out of my life now so i can just move on with this other guy and i don't want you to yeah, be the, the father. most eligible bachelor oh maybe mm. we'll see <laughs> Update. Lots of people are asking for an update, so here we go. The kid is 100% mine. I'm going to call her Daisy for this post. Whoa. Okay, so we know. I guess so. I guess so. Dang. I've met her a few times, and she's a really cute and lovely kid. Wow, okay, so we're already on to meeting. I am enjoying getting to know her, although, of course, I am sad that I missed out on so much of her developments and so many firsts. I'm also sad that she hasn't had my influence as a father would hope to their child. For example, she understands some Polish because of her stepfather's family, whereas I grew up in a house where elders spoke Creole. I wish she could have been able to explore her heritage from birth, but now she can choose whether she wants to do so which is also exciting. She also strongly resembles me as a child, which is strange, but nice. My mother says she's the spitting image of her aunt. So we have been showing Daisy some family photos, which she seems to enjoy. My ex, Rose, is doing a great job of raising her. I want to stress that. Rose behaved badly in our relationship, but she is a wonderful mother, which I think is a pretty, pretty mature separation of, you know, yeah, being yeah. objective on OP's part. Yeah. Trying to separate her into her different like life stages and different positions. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be getting to know Daisy a bit better over time with a view to having her eventually spend summer or winter vacations with me if she wishes to when she is a little bit older. Rose and her husband are also going to bring her to meet my mom when they are in our hometown. So Daisy Daisy can get to know her biological grandmother if she wants to. Rose is married to a very decent guy who clearly adores Daisy. To answer a question I got in quite a few of my DMs, the husband is white, Rose is white, and I am black. So, it, so that kind of ruins my theory. <laughs> Uh, so it was fairly obvious that Daisy was not his biological child. However, he is very obviously her dad. Uh, we are getting along well, and he is supportive of me getting to know Daisy. Which, so did like, he know that it? He knew that it wasn't his kid. It seems like, yeah, I were I have to read a little bit between the lines here, but it seems like he knew that the yeah, kid yeah. wasn't biologically hit and maybe they got into a relationship after she had the baby yeah yeah because it, it and yeah it seems to be the same guy from that point now the hard part rose has apologized repeatedly for her actions she says she did not cheat on me and i have come to believe her 
However, the lie still hurts. She has explained that this is something that weighed heavily on her, and she knew she would address it eventually. I have not forgiven her, but we are moving past it as best we can. We are both in therapy and considering doing some therapy as a unit to make sure we are healthy co-parents for Daisy. I have called her out and will continue to call her out. This has not been one conversation, but a long series of talks to understand one another's positions. Her explanation was that if I knew that she was pregnant, and that the kid was mine, that I would have given up on the life I wanted, pursuing my dreams in order to have supported her. Instead, she broke up with me and moved home, where her father supported her until she had Daisy. So she was like, I don't want you to give up on your dreams. Yeah, but like, could have just said that. <laughs> but I also understand. But he probably wouldn't. Like, if he's like a, any any kind of nice guy, like he he'll probably start making those sacrifices anyways. Anyways, yeah. So it is, it is helpful to, I think, understand understand her perspective there and why she did dang like so she's almost doing it because she's for him for, yeah for him dang so dang commenters right now we're gonna we're gonna break this down at the end so stick around to that but comment right now um do you is think daisy did the right cash thing? money move is that was that the right thing uh, that Rose did for OP? We'll talk. We'll break it down. But let us know what you think right now in the comments below. But for the sadness of this situation, I am in a good place in life now and relatively successful. Perhaps she is right that I would not have managed to do this if we'd had a baby at our young age. But I still wish she had given me the choice to say yes or no. However, what is done is done. Which I think would be the right thing to do. I think so. Like to to lie about that is, I think, the wrong thing to do, even though it was coming from a place that was somewhat selfless. Yeah. Trying to help him. Yeah. There is some stuff I do not want to mention, even on an anonymous forum like Reddit, which gives me further context and understanding for Rose's actions. Apologies for the anticlimax slash for leaving that out but it wouldn't feel right. Rose and her husband are currently declining to accept child support from me. Interesting. Saying they earn enough to raise Daisy without it. They have not made access to Daisy contingent in any way on money or anything else. I'm going to check with a lawyer to determine whether this is something they will be able to pursue for in the future and to explore the legalities of instead placing that money into a trust for Daisy to use as an adult or perhaps for college. That's a fantastic idea. That's a great you know, idea. Let Daisy become an adult and then let her decide yep. what she wants to do with it from there. And we do have some relevant comments that OP answered. First one is from Rogue1206. This sounds like you're handling all of this beautifully. If I may make a suggestion, even though they are declining the child support, set the child support money aside into an account just for Daisy. Yeah. When she is 18, Boom, one hell of a graduation gift, which man, could you Great imagine? Idea. Like that's another another 12 years of putting into that. What I know it would be like a couple thousand a month, maybe. Like let's say like two thousand a month. Well not not maybe because remember we looked up uh the average child support was like five or nine hundred five hundred Riley, right? And OP's doing pretty well, right? OP's doing pretty well. So let's say at least maybe 500 plus, something no, like that. No, it be more than that. It would be like 1,000, 2,000. If, if we're going by the, the average, but it seems like like 1,000 is like a pretty common, like it's like at least 1,000, basically. If it's like 14 in Tennessee, 21 in California, like um, we started an account for my daughter when she was born. It's an interest bearing account, so it will just grow with her. It will either help her with her higher ed or a down payment on a house in 11 years. I hope, but it's at least something. That's pretty huge. Yeah. OP, great idea. I'm looking into establishing a trust in case anything in case anything should happen to me in the next 10 to 15 years. But an interest bearing account is also a good thought. Highly agree. Um, I will raise it with the lawyer at my consultation next week. Wow. So, so things ended in a weird place, but a good place. A good weird place. A good weird place. I would say. And I think we're still left with the big question that we were teasing, which is, did Rose actually do a, a good thing in trying to look out for OP even if she lied about the baby. I think ultimately hiding that kind of information is bad. Yeah. I think what she did was wrong, even though her heart seems like it was in the right place. A hundred percent. She was trying to be like, no, I don't want him to ruin his life or whatever, but he, he should, I think he should have gotten the right to know. Yeah. Uh, he should have gotten the right to know. And like, again, the right to choose maybe, maybe. And like, also can you like, I guess someone could find a way to just like give you money, but you could just not spend it. Right. Like, what the, like, with, like if, if, if Rose is like, stop 
giving me money. I'm just not even going to touch it. You know, eventually, like if that's the scenario that would that would happen, ev- OP would probably clue in eventually and be like, all right, I will focus on my stuff. Yeah. Like, I feel like there was a way for Rose to accomplish the same thing with the, giving the knowledge. But he might have been like, no, I want custody of my kid or something. You know, that's that's true. Maybe maybe Rose was is leaning on that now. Maybe part of it maybe also was that she was afraid that op would want to, and it seems like she didn't want to be with op because she yeah, didn't maybe stay with him. Re- yeah maybe that's actually the reason the other guy is the father yeah. for all intents and purposes maybe she was like i don't want to be hitched to this guy for the rest of my life but i'm pregnant with his baby i'm pregnant with his baby what if, yeah what if she literally was like i want to leave and then and got then, pregnant. Then they got pregnant. Yeah. Big conspiracies. I don't know. What do you think, guys, is the actual reason? Put your answers in the comments. But you know what I want a reason for? What? A reason for living. So I'm going to read this next story. <laughs> Let's get into it. I demanded that my son take a paternity test. Did I do something wrong? Well, here's the question. See, you're a parent and you're like, yo, you need to know if you're a parent or not. I didn't get any get out of jail free card. So why should you get one? Yeah, I think you should bear witness to understanding whether or not you are my son in front of me. Like open up that 23andMe test like a Christmas present and and then really just wallow in the knowledge that you are either my son or not my son. It would be crazy if you knew that your kid wasn't yours and you're like, here's an ancestry test. Here's a DNA test. Here you go. I'm like, why would you tell me that way? Um, <laughs> that would be wild. I hate you. Oh, damn it. That's right. I, female 39, have two kids, male 17 and female 10. When I was 21, I had a one night stand, which resulted in my son, Austin, the father wanting nothing to do with my child. Ah, rough. One night stand, dude. Dang. When my son was three, I met my husband, Mark, male 38, and my son adores my husband and calls him father. Oh, We love that. Austin met his current girlfriend through Mark's best friend, Alan, her father. Macy and Austin have been close since they were young, and we were all thrilled when we found out they were dating. After we found out, Mark and I sat Austin down and explained that we're happy for him, but we needed him to know the importance of safe sex, whether it was happening or not. Rep you, Jimmy, Jimmy. He was disgusted, but said he understood, and we left it at that. For context, my son is what others describe as shy and soft-spoken. He's really sensitive and takes harsh comments slash actions to heart. We thought everything was fine with him until he came home crying and he eventually told us Macy had cheated on him. Oh, Macy. Little Austin, Macy, what are you doing? I was angry and urged my son to leave, but my husband calmed us both and asked to speak with Austin privately. Essentially, he asked Austin what he wanted to do and if he wanted us to stop seeing Macy and her father. Austin said he didn't want that and wanted to work things out with Macy. I was upset, but didn't say anything. And ever since that happened, I've hated seeing her around. Mm. Macy, that bitch. She's only festering her anger. All I think about when I see her is my son distressed and crying his eyes out. I act cordial around her, but I don't like her. Around February, Austin came home looking rather upset again. So I sat down with him and asked him, what's going on? I wasn't expecting to hear him say no, no. what he said to me. No, don't say it. Don't say it, Sam. Macy's pregnant. Oh, oh, I actually wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Macy's pregnant. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was furious. I told him I expected better from him. I also said that before anything happened, he needed to do a paternity test. He was angry that I suggested she cheated again. Oh, no. Oh, because I guess they they stayed together. Yeah, they stayed together. Like he worked together. it out, the mom yeah, and yeah. her. Yeah, and yeah. now... I thought they just kind of like were seeing each other because the, the the they were family friends. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, because Austin said he didn't want that and wanted to work things out with Macy. Right. right. So, yeah, they were still together. Um, he was angry that I suggested she cheated again, but I didn't like how she was just suddenly pregnant. When Mark came home from work, I filled him in and he was equally upset and we all sat down and discussed it. Austin explained that I demanded a paternity test was done, and Mark wasn't happy to hear that. I explained that she's cheated before, she could have cheated again. That led to a huge argument before we all calmed down. I asked if her parents knew, and apparently not. He said she agreed to tell them tonight. 
And sure enough, about an hour later, Mark gets an angry call from Alan demanding that my son marries his daughter. And if Austin refuses, he demands that he pay child support and stay out of the kid's life. Oh, my God. Give me a break. Give me a break. Of course, we were all angry and exhausted. So I said that nothing was happening until a paternity test was done. And I wasn't taking the word of a cheating little girl. Oh, dang, mama. He blew up at us and it was radio silence after the call. Macy was told that she... Macy was told she can no longer see Austin, and then Austin took it out on me. A few weeks ago, Alan contacted us and agreed to do a paternity test. I asked why the sudden change, but he ignored me. He said he set out an appointment for May 5th. Austin went with Mark. He said he didn't want to be around me. It stung, and I won't lie, it made me cry when he said that. Results finally came in a few nights ago. Oh, no. And he is... Not the father. Oh, man. He was shattered. (sighs) Instead of apologizing, he screamed that it was my fault and he'd never known. He hasn't said much to me since. Better to know than not know, bro. Austin, what what are you doing? Maybe I was wrong for making him do a paternity test, but I was only looking out for my son. Was I wrong for making him take a paternity test? And there is a big, fat, juicy update. But... I want to know from you guys. Put your answers in the comments right this second. Was OP wrong for making her son take a paternity test? So it is always, you know, when you bring the paternity test in, we've said this a hundred times on this podcast, when you bring it in, it automatically, you know, you got to be ready. It's like, it's like if you're going to, you know, pull that thing out, you got to use it type of a situation. So what, you're saying if you pull a gun out, you got to use it or were you, were you, that's is, what they say. Were you saying your dick? <laughs> Up to dealer's choice. Dealer's okay. choice. If you pull your dick hey, out, Riley, you that was a 50 use 50, it. okay? You can't ke- catch me on a technicality. Um, I I think in this scenario, especially if it turns out that the paternity test shows that they're not the father, mm. you know, at that at, after that point, I'd say OP's like definitely not the a-hole because it's like, okay, well, they were, you know, pot- they potentially knew that, you know, and and were trying to pull the wool over the yeah. son and the family size. I mean, OP is exposing. All right. Like, first off. Yeah. Austin's a little bitch kid that don't know shit. A little whining right? brat. Little whining bitch. And he just got cheated on and he's a cuck for staying. All right. So first off, that's what I got to say about Austin. Yeah. Second, because he's a little cuck that don't know anything about life. I think is it's okay for his mom to expose truth to him. Right. Yes. Like, I think yes. she's doing her duty as a parent to expose her child the truth make sure he's not getting taken advantage of yeah. and i think by making sure that austin isn't being just lied to she's doing i think the good motherly good service. thing yeah in the face of of, of him, him like hating her for yeah, it which has got to be so, so hard for yeah, her i know she's doing the right thing even though it's making austin whine more it's crazy yeah, and you think you're ready to be a father come on austin <laughs> he's really not though get, get, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, not, he's like what like 12 or however <laughs> yeah. old anyway so update this is october 25th 2023 so oh. hello all i got a few requests for an update so here it is First, I'd like to thank everyone for their opinions. I was questioning if I did the right thing since finding out he wasn't the father and thought I was too rough with the situation. We've all been in therapy, group and individual. My son has started to come around and apologize for the yelling and shitty choices. He calls it that, not me, that he made. Hmm, okay. So it sounds like little Austin is doing some growing up. Getting there. His therapist encouraged him to explain his thought process about the entire thing. And essentially, he thought... She was the one. <sighs> High school love, man. High school love. High I remember school my love. first girlfriend. I thought she was the one. And then she cheated. Austin? Uh, I'm Austin. <laughs> this is written by my mother. Oh, God. She was his second girlfriend and thought they had a strong bond until one of his friends showed him a picture of her kissing some other guy. It turned into a big fight and only escalated when he found out they had slept together. I myself have been cheated on and it made me angry to know Austin had to experience it himself. He said he wasn't happy about the entire thing and he's feeling guilty for taking it out on me. We hugged it out and got ice cream after our little ritual after we've had an argument, which is cute. Austin also, my sister also in the house wants, if anyone sees anyone else's blood, we all have to go out for ice cream. I'm in. 
Cool. Austin also broke up with Macy after finding out. Of course, she blames me for the entire thing, but she's old enough to know that her actions have motherfucking consequences. Like a baby. She hasn't been handling it well. Apparently, she's been lashing out at everyone possible and attempted to egg our house. Austin has been quiet, but I can tell he's starting to accept what's going on and he's been spending more time with friends, which is good. That's what you should do. Invest in your friendships. I've been giving him his space and I think that's helped in the long run. Now on to Mark. A lot of people had a lot of assumptions about him and some even suggested he is the father. After the paternity test? <laughs> Bruh. Wait, that Mark? The oh, Mark the dad? The dad. Is the father? Oh no. No way. No way. Oh no. Say it ain't so. Husband Mark. No way. That would be... No way. But that is far from the truth. Thank oh. God. Oh. He's known this little girl her entire life and thought she was better than that. He wasn't trying to save his friendship with Alan. He was allowing our nearly adult son to make his own choices and deal with the consequences of said choices. Macy has also given birth recently and we know who the father is. Unfortunately, the father was Austin's Best friend, Chris. You've got to be kidding me. He decided it was a good idea to tell Austin while they were hanging out here. I wasn't in the room when he was told, but I was there when he started to beat Chris up. Oh. I was outside setting up Halloween decorations in the front yard when I heard a thunk and some screaming. So I ran in through the front door to find Austin punching Chris over and over again. Mark also heard the commotion and came to pull Austin off Chris. Chris apologized and left. It wasn't until he drove away that Austin broke down crying. We all went out to dinner that night. Oh, heartbreaking. And we, oh man, this Austin, Austin's been through He's it. He's going through it. Austin's we'll, going through we'll it. A I little feel bit of a bad, break here. bro. We all went out for dinner that night and we've tried to cheer him up, but I'm starting to realize he needs space on this and to let him come to me about mm. it when he's ready. Like, you know, yeah, I don't want a helicopter parent. Yeah. Mark and Austin have been going out the last couple of days. Mark says that he remembers when he was Austin's age and only hopes he's helping him realize that he's got a whole lifetime to find his one. Therapy has helped us out, but I know he needs his space to process this. Thank you once more, and please take care of yourselves. And there are a few relevant comments that I want to read really quick. Okay. So Prudence Rigby said, also what happened to Alan. So Alan is... Um, the dad of the girl. Alan is Mark's best friend. Alan is the the, the dad of yes. Macy. And uh, OP says, as far as I know, he's gotten in contact with Chris and his parents, and they are working out child support. I haven't personally heard from him, but that is what Mark told me. And then Prudence Rigby replies, I wonder if he was hostile with them as he was with y'all. Their friendship survived unscathed or were they distant up until the paternity test? And then Opie said they were distant and they are still distant. So it sounds that really, so it sounds like that relationship with Alan and Mark oh, is on the rocks and maybe, maybe destroyed. But um, yeah, I mean, with this update, has your opinion changed? Like, do you think that uh, OP did the right thing in making sure the paternity test was done. Pass to you, John. She literally saved and saved changed her life. son's life yeah. because the dad was already trying to pressure her into yep. marrying her, into paying yeah, child can support. Can you imagine? And he's, he's 17, right? Yeah. 17. His life has not even started yet. And it would be so different. And then he ends up raising a whole freaking child that is not his. Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine. So this is the classic case of like, you. this is the biggest you'll thank me yeah. later of all time. Austin, you dodged a bullet. Your mom is looking bro, out for you. A real thank freaking, freaking G. Mom. Yeah, your mom's top G, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what would you do in this situation? Put your answers in the comments below. And also, like, have you ever has has your child ever gotten knocked up? or knocked up someone else, put your answers in the comments we want to hear. Or have you heard a story from a you know, close family friend or relative or friend? And if you want it read on the show. Yeah, submit it to r slash OKOP show or write it in the comments um, and maybe put story time somewhere. And if you want to call us, call 440-508-6567. We'll see you soon.